this is Sean. It's Ted. And today we're going to talk about how to play lead guitar solos. This is Sean, look, I'm right there. Ted! Yeah, and uh, this is Sean and Ted's Musical Adventures. Adventures. Today, whoa. Today. Guitar we... solos. 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 This how is to solo? One. We could do 25 episodes on how to ah. solo. Yeah. But uh, for me, uh, let's just get back to basics. The first thing I did was um, I asked my stepdad, he was a guitar player, and I said, oh, I want to play lead. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to play lead. And you coughed like that. And I too. coughed really hard. And don't worry, I don't have COVID 19. I'm good. <laughs> but, uh, um, and uh, he said, you got to start with Chuck Berry, boy. Chuck? Chuck Berry. And I recommend everybody starts with Chuck Berry. And because he created this really simple style with three licks. The, you know, uh, you know the sort of. Uh, yep. Exactly. You know, no, it, there was that lick, then there was that. And then he'd go to the four chord and play this, like. And, and, and almost every solo was was a combination of those three licks. So, so in one chord, if we just go. so many players to Billy Gibbons yeah. to all the way to Eddie Van Halen uh, and beyond um, uh, you can hear the Chuck Berry influence so that's yeah. really important you want to be a lead player study Chuck Berry especially yeah. if you're just starting out and playing lead because the licks are simple they're traditional and they're great and then you know um, you know it, and, and a study how it gets evolved I'll give you an example how it jumps from sort of Chuck Berry to Billy Gibbons to Eddie Van Halen so you know Billy Gibbons would just, you know, he'd, he'd play those licks, but he'd add a little more to it. He, you know, he had his little... Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Right? He'd yeah. squeal a little bit, but they're basically Chuck Berry licks. Yeah, yeah. They really are. Yeah. And then, and then you know, Eddie Van Halen, their first single that comes out on the radio is a Chuck... You know, the, first, the, the first time he plays lead to the world... It's a Chuck Berry lick. It's a yeah. it's a on steroids. You know, yeah. Right? He's just like a, right. It's it's Chuck Berry. Chuck Chuck is everywhere. So study Chuck Berry. You know YouTube all the if you YouTube Chuck Berry, you're gonna get about ten hits and all basically the same solo yeah, yeah. <laughs> over and over. So yeah. So if you're if you're learning to play a solo, as we talked about from mm -hmm. our previous episode, and hopefully you guys have watched that about how to play blues, how to guitar. play our blues, yeah. So so if you use the pentatonic in in a, in a and we're playing in the key of A, yeah, yeah. just give me a quick rundown of putting yeah, the, okay, so, putting those two things together. Yeah, so basically a lot of rock and rolls in the key of A, key of yeah. E, but let's well, let's go A, right? So, you play your A chord, so you've got your root, I'll just be you've got your fifth, fifth, right? Right, Chuck Berry. Riches would do that too. Oh, yeah. These are all Chuck Berry licks. Right? Everything's Chuck. So, so root fifth. So, so everyone pay him a lot of money. Oh, I guess he's. Jeez, I heard yeah. he got ripped off. Isn't yeah. that horrible? Yeah, yeah. Actually, he. I think he's one of the reasons why the laws changed. Because he got ripped off so badly, yeah, and then uh, the laws yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, everyone. So we have a lot to thank to Chuck for Chuck yeah, Berry. Yeah. Honestly, all all us guitar players, yeah, yeah. all of us, you know. Yeah. Um, he was also the guy who sort of transformed blues into sort of pop music, you yep, know? That's true. He took 12-bar blues and uh, started Rocked writing pop songs and started rocking it out, you know? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's a big one. I think, you know, if you're first starting out and you want to learn how to play solo... Props to Chuck. Props to Chuck. you gotta, you got to study Chuck. Spend some time with those records. Even if that style is not your thing, um, learn those solos because they're simple, they're quick, and they will, they will set you on a path... 
um, because that's how I did it. My first solos, man, I was jamming in my my basement bands, you know, when I was a kid, and literally every solo sounded with that face, with that face too. That, <laughs> Yeah. You know, and then and then I evolved and it, and, and it, it went from Chuck Berry to you know learning how to tap and all that. You know, the sort of that sort of. So learning how to shred. So, so could you stuff. do that to Chuck? Well, Eddie Van Halen does, right? Oh, you know, oh, oh, there sort of, uh, So explain explain what they. What you're doing well, there. what I did was basically I started with Chuck. You know, like, uh, well, what what I learned from Chuck is that he's basically playing notes from the pentatonic scale. Yeah. So I started with the pen, you know, learning the pentatonic. One, two, three, four, five. Then it repeats itself. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And then what I did was I started to learn the scale all over the neck. I used to get frustrated because I'd sit in one box all the time, and I wanted to turn the whole neck into one box. Yeah. So I took the A pentatonic scale. Yeah. And I go, how else can I play it? And I figured out there was five, obviously there's five notes, so there's five patterns. So I thought, I started with the lowest pattern. Then I went to the next pattern. Next one. There, that's the secret right there. And then there's five. So good right there. So one there's one. five patterns. There's five patterns. And then what I started to do is when I started getting more into sort of the modern players, I thought, what if I combine those patterns together? So when I'm playing lead, for example, um, and I, you see me tapping around here, what I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm taking two patterns, so I'm going this one, and I go to the next pattern, which is here, and I'm combining them. So now yeah. I'm playing both. I'm adding my third finger, or, you know, my first finger, yeah. and I'm going... Right? And so on this side, you're just... Moving I'm in. just adding an extra, I'm basically, I'm playing, I'm combining the patterns, right? Yep. So here's the, and then I can play, you know, here. Right, but instead yep. of doing, yep. instead of, because it's hard to stretch, Got your, I'm basically going to tap it in. Right? Nice. And so that's that's how that evolved. But I started with Chuck Berry, trying to figure out the pentatonic scale. You know, but that's what I'm saying, that's a nice way to show people as far as what this is about. Uh, yeah. Soloing is, is combining stuff. Absolutely. And, and if you're to combine some, some country stuff in there with the old... Oh, okay, well, country now. Yeah. Now, now we get into flavors. Okay? Yeah, yeah, so flavors. You start right. with Chuck Berry. Let's look at Chuck Berry's, like... You're building a pizza, and Chuck Berry, he's just basically the vanilla. Bread. The vanilla. Well, or, 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 vanilla. But, if but if you're making a pizza, okay, pizza. He's the dough. Well, you could have a vanilla pizza. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Bronx. I don't know about this guy. But anyway, <laughs> what are you eating, man? <laughs> vanilla pizza? Uh, but, <laughs> but okay, you start with the dough, and that's Chuck Berry. And then you want to start flavoring it. A little sauce, a little cheese, a little pepperoni. And so, <laughs> so you start flavoring. He knows about pizza. I didn't. Cheese. <laughs> I was a pizza delivery guy for a long time, yeah, so I yeah. watched him. But um, so basically, you want to start flavoring the solo. Yeah. So Chuck Berry is say he's the base, bare bones. Is, the this, pizza like, is this like a little oregano? Yeah. She, no, well, no, he's no, he's not oregano. <laughs> I'm trying to pay. I'm trying to do, teach him a lesson here, Ted. So, <laughs> so but when you're adding flavor, you're gonna add more notes. Yeah. So now you've got this five note scale, yeah. right? Right. Now you're gonna add, to, uh, but basically. You know, in, in a lot of guys' cases, they have the two and the six. So they go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then yeah. flat seven, right? So they're adding the two and the flat six. So you're getting, instead of getting this sort of Chuck Berry or Billy Gibbons thing where you're going, right? Yep. Now let's do that sort of thing, but add those two notes. So. Which gets us into sort of like, the, as we talked about before, into the... Uh, Carlos Santana sort of thing. Carlos Santana, Jimmy Page. The list goes on. Like, Jimmy Page. Just as an right? example. Yeah. yeah, there's an example that's a total classic Santana lick. Yeah. He takes that pentatonic that Chuck starts with Chuck Berry, adds a little flavor, now he's putting a little sauce on there, you know. And <laughs> And then the next generation, they throw even more, right? Oh, they're looking using the same, same <laughs> one big pizza. And now, who do, who can't relate to pizza, dude? Because right, yeah, no, pizza is like life. Even yeah. when it's bad, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's so, right. Um, so I'm just trying to sort of keep it simple and and what people are thinking and um, and pizza is a pretty simple ingredient. It is. Just it's like very the, the lead thing you're talking about. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You're just adding sure. a little 
little figures to it. Absolutely, man. We're just yeah. adding a little more spicy. We're starting basic. That's why I always say start with Chuck Berry and then let yourself evolve. Evolve to where you want to go. Yeah. But at least start with the two, three, four Chuck Berry licks. And you're going to find, too, the more you analyze guitar players and the more you listen to them and learn their solos, they basically all have their own little bag of tricks. You know, there's yeah. sort of three or four licks that they lean on. And uh, so that's what you got to do. You got to find your four. Three, so if we're going to wrap this up, what's the sort of three or four licks in, in a very simple three chord rock and roll song that you can just kind of play, play these guys out with? You know, just so they can show them, so you guys yeah. can get a feel for it. Well, you know, there's the Chuck Berry one, yeah. which I'll... You know. And you know, then go then, into some Panic Guitar. And then there's, you know, sort of... I have the blues note. Yeah. Nice. And then I'll do a little tapping, a little sort of... Uh, I, I like to use tapping when yep. I'm playing, but you know. Also, nice, nice, nice right. little flavor. Yeah, so let's combine those three and have some fun. And, yep. and uh, we're probably going to do a lot more of these kind of episodes, yep. but... Um, I did mention in this in this video uh, or in this episode, um, Eddie Van Halen. So yes. next week, let's come back and and let's do a. We've been we've been talking about doing this for a while. How to get inside the mind of ah, Eddie Van Halen? Inside the mind, yes. Yeah. What is he thinking? Yes. What, what are you thinking? thinking? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> inside the mind of Sean and uh, Ted. Anyways, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll play you out with a little bit of stuff. It's uh, Sean, Ted. And this is Sean and Ted's Musical Adventures. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Come visit us on social media, and we appreciate your support. We love you guys. Yeah, and uh, watch us many times. Let's jam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>